For those who suffer with hemophilia, life can be unpredictable and fraught with complications. Now, here to share some information about what the disorder is and what it can cause is Dr. Michael Callahan and hemophiliac Ken. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Doctor, let's start with you. What is hemophilia for those who may not know? Sure. Well, thanks for having us on today. Um, March is Bleeding Disorder Awareness Month, and we're working with Gen Genentech to raise awareness about hemophilia A, which is a rare bleeding disorder. It affects about one in 5,000 men, or about 20,000 people in the United States. And people with hemophilia A are missing blood clotting factor eight. And when you don't have that blood clotting factor, small bleeds don't stop and they continue to bleed. And often these bleeds are into joints or muscles and you can have accumulation of blood in the joint that does damage and, and people with hemophilia develop early chronic joint damage and arthritis. And the treatment is usually to replace the missing blood clotting factor. So if you're missing coagulation factor eight, we can infuse factor eight IV three or four times a week to prevent bleeding. <coughs> or when people are having a bleed, we can infuse them. Unfortunately, about a third of people with hemophilia A um, see factor eight as a foreign product and their body makes an immune response and then that factor eight doesn't work anymore. So when they have a bleed, it becomes very hard to treat and people with inhibitor antibodies um, have chronic joint damage and, and even life-threatening bleeds that can be very difficult to treat. Well, Ken, you are one of the people affected by this. What, how has it changed your life? How has it affected your quality of life? Well, I don't know that it's changed my life because it's the only thing I know. Uh, it's made me who I am. Um, so being born with it and being diagnosed at age two and then diagnosed with an inhibitor, um, you know, it, it, it has made every decision in my life. Uh, anything you do, you have to think of your the hemophilia and how it uh, can affect what you do day to day. Right. And so what do you hope that people listening, people watching, uh, you know, who may not know much about this or may have a family member who's affected by it, what do you hope that they learn from your experience? Well, my experience in my lifetime uh, is, you know, from the treatment of whole blood as the only treatment available to, to new drugs like Chemlibra where, you know, the internal bleeding of 20 uh, bleeds uh, for a six month period has gone down to two, that, that there's uh, you know, promising medications here and now and in the future. Got it. And doctor, back to you, uh, what do you want people to know as far as resources? If they want to learn more, become educated, where can they go? Sure, so that medicine that uh, Ken mentioned, Hemlibra, um, was approved by the FDA in November. Um, for prevention of bleeding. And if people want more information about that, they could go to hemlibra.com, which is H-E-M-L-I-B-R-A. Um, or if they want information about hemophilia in general, they could go to the National Hemophilia Foundation NHF website or Hemophilia Federation of America HFA website. Um, as, as with any drug, hemlibra can have side effects, including blood clots and, and TMA. So if you're considering the drug, you should definitely seek more information and talk to your doctor. Very good. Dr. Michael Callahan, thank you so much for the information. And Ken, of course, thanks for opening up and sharing your very important story. Thank, thank you. you very much for having us. Of course. And thank you to our sponsor, Genentech. And stay right where you are. We'll be right back.